Does this mafia boss convert Andrew Tate back to Christianity? But before we get into that, my name is Elijah and I make videos about faith that engages the culture for Jesus. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's get right into the video. Is there a reason you were drawn more to Islam than Christianity? <clears throat> I don't. I read both books. I don't know if it was my time inside of Islamic countries. I felt God. I felt it. I don't know how else to say it. I felt, I felt it. I felt it more when I went to the mosque. I felt it when I was in an Islamic country. I felt it. And, and I've analyzed this about myself heavily because I believe that feedback is how you get good at anything. People think practice. You know what I think is funny? Andrew Tate is the person who usually yells at all these guys for basing their life off of feelings. How dare you base your life off of feelings? And now he's talking about how this feeling made him this feeling is the one that made him become a Muslim and not based off of facts or truth or really what happened, but his feeling, which is really interesting the way Andrew Tate usually talks a lot about how you should not base your life off of feelings. Perfect. That's a lie. Feedback makes perfect. And I was actually discussing this with somebody who was talking about my podcast. He says, oh, your podcasts are very good. And how do you talk so well? And I said, well, he goes, you must be practicing. I was like, I don't practice because I'm 37, you're 42, you've been practicing longer than me, so how come I can speak better than you can? Because <laughs> I watch myself back and I analyze, I learn new words, I right. feedback. Feedback is how you get good at something. So I try to analyze. Yeah, but that's kind of like practice though. <laughs> I mean, feedback, all right, you learn new words and then you study and then you practice. As my own state of mind all the time. And I try and work out why did I feel like an Islamic society was closer to God than a Christian society? Is it because of what's in the book? Or is it because of the society I'm in? Is it because of the society? Maybe, and I'm just being perfectly brutally honest here. Maybe when I look at religion, I say, well, if a religion, what's the primary goal of a religion? Is it to save souls? Yes. But also, wouldn't you argue the primary goal of religion is to preserve a society to a degree? If, if, an, if Islam can preserve Islamic societies, if women are women, if men are men, if even in war zones, even even you can look at the worst countries on the planet today, they're Islamic countries. Yeah, but the still... problem is, is that they completely now are doing it by force. That's how they preserve it. They kill people who oppose them. I have some Christian friends in Pakistan and other places that they're showing me they're literally getting burned to death for being a Christian, for following Jesus. And that's how they're preserving it. If anyone says anything opposite of what they believe, they kill them and torture them until they make their life miserable, especially in those other Middle Eastern countries, which is super sad, super, uh, my heart breaks for the people who have to worry for their life, who they can't, where they can't worship God freely. And that's what's sad. That's why they're preserving it. Christianity is lasting forever and they're not going out killing people who don't believe, at least right now, and it's still growing. All praying. They're still all with their wives. They're still all feeding. God is the only thing they've got. They don't have anything else. They're not afraid to die for what they believe in. God is all they've got left. You know, it's interesting. Someone said to me, they said, imagine when you look at movies and you see a post-apocalyptic Christian country, like, you know, something's happened. You see riots, you see uh, looting, you see all these things, right? He goes, there's a bunch of Islamic countries right now that are already post-apocalyptic. You don't see any of them because they believe in God. Okay, movie. maybe it's that's what does that have to do with real life? That maybe it's just I felt it hold society together, and and I I'm not gonna sit here and argue that I'm right. I'm not gonna argue against Christianity at all. I respect Christianity. I was raised Christian. I have absolute respect for Christians. My brother's a Christian. I'm not gonna sit and say that I'm right and anyone else is wrong. I'm just saying perhaps it's as simple as if I send my children to school in Dubai, 99 percent of the problems we've talked about, I don't have to worry about it. Maybe yeah. it's that simple. It's like, okay. Let, let me tell you the one, the one thing that separates Christianity that's scary to Let's everything else. Let's hear what this mafia it. boss has to say about the thing that separates Christianity from any other religion. I'm excited to see what he says, so make sure to watch. In my view, if Christians are right, and the only way to get to heaven, which I know you believe in, yep. we believe in heaven and hell, is through Jesus Christ, yep. then... Every other religion could be good. There's no question about that. But the separation is that if you don't believe Jesus is the Son of God, That's right. then you don't get to heaven. That's right. 
And that's scary. Yeah. That's and true. you know, when I was in the The only way to the Father is through Jesus. And that's so many other religions like to say you might be able to get to heaven this way, you might get to heaven that way, but the only way to the Father is through Jesus. That's how you get to heaven, that's how you have everlasting life. So if Christians are right, everyone else is kind of not looking so good. But I mean, if other people are right, then Christians are still okay. Oh. Um, I, I was, um, I kind of challenged God at that moment, you know, because my wife was Christian, my mother-in-law Christian, they were telling me, and I didn't have time for that. But now I'm getting in there, and you know what I developed, Andrew, I developed a healthy fear of hell. Yeah. You're in the hole. If this is it, if this is the rest of eternity like this, only a million times worse, and even if it isn't worse, this is it. Yeah. I'm here alone by myself, separated from everyone I love, and this is it. Eternal nothing. I said, I need to find out what's true. That's and at so that point true. In Hell is literally, we could get into the logistics, whether it's, whether it's burning flames and you're getting tortured like that. What really, when it comes down to it, is separation from God forever. Separation from, separation from God's presence forever. And that's what's super scary. That's the worst thing in the world. But the, to be honest though, is like what, when people would be like, why would God send people to hell? It's because hell is separation from God. People who don't want to live for God now and have a relationship with God now, why would they want a relationship with God in heaven? That's just not how it works. So of course he's going to send them somewhere that most likely they want to be. They don't want to be with God. And that's what's sad. And having a healthy fear of something, I guess, is like that. But obviously you would want to be with God. I'm, I have my Bible in there. I had my wife send me every book you can imagine. Christian faith, Hindu, Muslim, everything. I was reading everything. And for me, the separation was, okay, all of this makes sense. But if Jesus is the only way to heaven and I reject that, then no matter how good I am, no matter what else I do, I'm going nowhere. This is going to be eternity for That's me. Right. So this is the separation. And I think people have to make that choice. It's it's a super interesting conversation. I love how he was talking to Andrew Tate about this. It's like, no matter how good you are, no matter how many good things that you do, no matter how many times you say your prayers or give alms to the poor, you still cannot go to heaven unless, unless you go to Jesus, unless it's through Jesus. That's what makes Jesus so great because Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He died on the cross for Andrew Tate's sins. He died on the cross for the mafia boss sins. He died on the cross for everyone's sins and whoever believes in Jesus will be saved, not because of their good works, not because of the things that they do, is because of Jesus. Let's see what Andrew Tate has to say about this. I'm, I can't wait. I'd love for us to do a podcast in a couple more years when I've read them both a couple more times. And uh, I know I have more to learn. This is on one subject where I'm 100% a student. But remember this, the only thing I'm going to tell you, I'm sure your brother told you this. Oh, okay. yeah, every day, every okay. day. <laughs> every, everything could be right, 100%, million good people, the yeah. country's good, everything. And you know what? You know, you're more safe in a, in a country. The United States is not safe anymore. Yeah. There's a lot of Christians there, a lot of people that profess to be Christians but yeah. really aren't Christians. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can say you're a Christian, but if you're living... A lot of people might say they're a Christian or culturally Christian, but that doesn't mean they're actually... That doesn't mean they're actually seeking a relationship with Jesus. If you're not living like a Christian, you're not a Christian. Yep. Doesn't matter. But that's the one separation. I understand. And that's important. And that's, that's something you really need to figure out and think about. Because if he is the only way to heaven, no matter how good you are, no matter what, how great the country is, doesn't matter. He literally gave kind of like the gospel to Andrew Tate. And Andrew Tate admittedly said, I'm going to have to think about it. Give me a couple more years. Let me read these books more. And well, maybe he'll have a different point of view in two years. So I'm praying for Andrew Tate that he actually seeks to, to read the Bible and learn more about Jesus and that he repents of his sins and turns to Jesus and, and he asks Jesus to forgive him of his sins. So guys, what a crazy video. Let me know what your thoughts are on this topic and how maybe you would explain the gospel better to Andrew Tate. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I encourage you all to seek Jesus and put him first and know that Jesus is the only way to the Father, to heaven. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. 
And here's another video for you to watch that you might like. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.